Hey guys, it's me Nabil. I hope everyone is doing great. We have a lot of SNK information and news to unpack today. So before we get started, a gentle reminder to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Now I'm trying to reach 50,000 subscribers. We're getting close. Hopefully I can do that before City of the Wolves comes out. All right, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is the King of Fighters dot battle. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a game that was announced, a mobile game that was announced recently at the Tokyo Game Show from Netmarble. Now, if you don't know this, Netmarble are also the same developer and publishing company behind the now uh, shut down uh, King of Fighters All-Star. King of Fighters All-Star started about five years ago and it's a game where you go and play through the entire uh, sagas of the King of Fighters from a different alternate reality type of thing. It had a large followings and people were really fans of it and absolutely were not fans of the fact that the game is shutting down and it was announced just you know a couple months ago. Now myself, I have not got into the game. I did not like it that much and that's because there are only few mobile games that I actually enjoy myself and most of them are not, you know, not known. Anyway, so Netmarble announced this new game. They haven't shown anything, but they showed the graphics uh, in a Tokyo game show and it looked amazing because it looked like the graphics from the SNK's Neo Geo Pocket Color. And my mind started, you know, playing tricks on me and I started hoping that maybe this is gonna be maybe similar to the King of Fighters All-Star, but in those beautiful graphics. Well, today Netmarble have released a new trailer, a gameplay trailer, for the King of Fighters dot battle, let's check it out. Yeah, so as you can see, it is very similar to some other old King of Fighters mobile games like the 98 OL. So it's basically kind of a static five characters, uh, five characters team versus another five characters team. Uh, and it's a turn-based kind of RPG strategic uh, type of game. Now, uh, myself, I am not a fan of these type of games, but maybe you are. And if you are, I uh, want to share with you that the game has started its pre-registration. So you can go right now to pre-register on the uh, game uh, page on uh, the uh, Google, um, Google Play. You can find it in there. I'm not sure about iOS. Honestly, I think it's also available, but I don't have an iOS device, so I don't know that. Uh, but you can pre-register and get access to some cool features like Vice Cinemature and some points when the game launches. We don't know when the game's gonna launch yet, but one thing I wanna say is that the artwork is amazing and the team, team selection that they have is very, very interesting. Just take a look at the teams they have in the game. Some of them are just fantastic. Look at that Mei Li and Shune in the same team. Now, seeing Mei Li back in any form is a triumph. So, really happy for Mei Li fans there. Uh, sorry, it's not an actual fighting game. Uh, the, the boss team is also interesting, as you can see. We have uh, Mr. Big, my favorite uh, other character, Krauser is there, and with Rugal. It's very, very interesting. I uh, wouldn't know what the story is, is it like a retelling or what, but we'll see what happens. I'll give it a shot. That's why I did uh, pre-register, so I can try the game and share my, uh, my findings with you. All right, next, we want to talk about the Metal Slug Tactics. Now, this game has been highly anticipated since it was announced a couple years ago, and we finally, as we said, have a release date, and it is releasing next week on November 5th. Now, not only do we have information about the physical release, but .emu have released a 30 seconds clip, gameplay clip, showing the recently announced Ikari team in some cool Metal Slug Tactics action. Let's check it out. All right, pretty cool. Now, if you are hoping to get the game on a physical form, 
now you can because we have two companies two uh, very popular companies that do physical releases for snk games have announced their um, their new collector's edition for this game and that's uh, the excellent excellent picks and love company for the europe side they do ship internationally and stateside there's limited run so let's start with picks and love and talk about the two versions they announced well obviously there's going to be a standard edition they haven't showed it yet uh, but i just want to take a look at this one pretty pretty awesome this is the limited collector's edition and it comes with a bunch of features including an official neo geo case a snap box like some of the uh, neo geo uh, aes cases the game for uh, your choice of nintendo switch playstation 4 or 5 uh, with reversible cover original soundtrack a king size folded poster nine little graphs and, a, and an exclusive metal slug keychain that just looks fantastic but this is not all if you think this is cool check the other exclusive version this is the limited hv01 deluxe edition and just look at that packaging very reminiscent of the ammo you get in the metal slug games look at that the deluxe box with premium finish an official neo geo case pretty much everything on the other one but we also have uh, an art book, a 144 page exclusive art book. I can't wait to see. Hopefully I can get this version because this is just amazing. And I already think you know, where, I can, uh, where I can put it in my bookcase because that looks fantastic. Uh, now both these versions will be available to pre-order on November 5th when the game launches. So you want to do that. If you want to get one of these two, then you want to make sure to pre-order because these run out quickly now let's check out the collector's edition from limited run so check that out it's called the commanding officer edition and the pre-orders are gonna go live from november 5th to december 8th and wow just look at that we have the physical edition uh a double 12 by 16 inch double-sided poster that looks pretty awesome the soundtrack a certificate of authenticity a keychain sticker sheet and that tank replica metal slug tank replica and it looks amazing now depending on which version you want both i mean all of them look really great and just to have that game in physical edition with the collectors all the collectors features and and, and collectibles pretty pretty awesome all right next thing i want to talk about is fatal fury city of the wolves now we don't have news about the game itself we don't know if there's a new trailer coming out. We just had an amazing trailer sh showing Kim Dong Wan, and hopefully Kim Jae Hoon is not far behind. But uh, SNK has teamed up with the pop-up store chain Bam Bam Osaka in Osaka, and they have uh, started a pop-up shop for Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. As I said, it's in Osaka. Now, obviously, I'm not in Osaka or Japan, but a uh, YouTuber is actually there, Sarumaru, and he filmed uh, his visit to the store which just looks fantastic a lot of cool fed of fury themed uh collectibles not just city of the walls but so many so many cool stuff i wish i was there there's already so many things i could buy if i was there um but yeah i'll uh, just you know just check all these awesome things now there's a link in the description so you can watch the whole video as he goes through like pretty much everything that he saw in that store which is pretty awesome and hopefully we're gonna get some more fed of fury city of the wolves news because the game it's about f almost five months away or so, maybe six months. So not too far uh, in the future, we're gonna be able to see this game and I can't wait for more announcements regarding Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. Last thing I wanna talk about, this could be something or it could be absolutely nothing. The game producer of Fatal Fury and KOF, Yasuyuki Oda, has shared on his Twitter feed or X feed that Yasushi Adachi, the original uh, director of Samurai Showdown, the very first Samurai Showdown in 1993, was at SNK today and they had a meeting and he actually there was a picture of him at the uh, Nakuru themed meeting room within uh, SNK offices. Now, he could be just passing by and saying hi, or it could be something. Now, I'll remind you that SNK is currently working, and hiring, by the way, if you want to work at SNK and work on some cool games, they are working on a Samurai Showdown action RPG. Maybe Yasushi Adachi is going to help. That would be awesome. Or again, maybe it's nothing. Or maybe they are working on already planning the sequel for Samurai Showdown. Hopefully, we're going to get another fighting game from SNK, another Samurai Showdown fighting game. That's one of my favorite games of all time so pretty cool stuff now 
Let me know guys, which one of all these news bits are you most excited about? Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.